Welcome on, this is Plugin Fox, and today we're back with another plugin called Pixel Printer. Pixel Printer is a good plugin if you want to pretty much print out pictures and stuff on your server. Uh, this actually prints them out in the blocks, so as you can kind of see here, it does also do uh, skins as well. I am going to let you guys know, uh, for some reason mine isn't working, but if you guys want to get it working, we can try and figure that out if you join Discord and we can try and get that working for you. But as of the time being of this video that is not working on my end but it could change with yours so let's get started so let's just download it if you click on download just put it in your plugins folder and then i will jump in the server here really quick all right guys i am in the minecraft server and as you can see there's really nothing around me but the first thing you're going to do is going to go pp and then just do help so that will give you list one, and you can do two, three as all your help lists. Something you're going to want to do though, is the first thing you want to do is do create or set load count. Normally this, as you can kind of see right above me, uh, you want to set it as a smaller number for older computers. So I'm just going to do 10 because I don't know how my computer is going to add to it so we're just going to do 10. so the next thing you want to do is pp create uh or download do you want to download so it's either d for downloading it as a text file or di as an image so with an image you'll do it as either a png or a jpeg um uh, it will store a little bit less size or have a smaller footprint if you do it as D uh, instead of DI just because it saves it as a text file instead of a normal image but I mean that kind of is depending on what you have in your scenario so what I'm gonna do here really quick is I'm gonna find a picture so I'm gonna do uh, Minecraft box just because it's kind of my logo. So let's just find one here. Uh, let's just do this one. So we're gonna copy the link address and we're gonna do slash D just to show you guys. And then we're gonna do it box one. I already used Fox because I tried to record this video already, but it didn't work out. So um, now that we have it downloaded, it's as a TXT file. So that's perfectly fine. Both ways are going to be compatible for this. So now let's do this. So we can do slash pp create. Let's go uh, north box one. Oh, uh, then you have to do the height. So we're going to do 50. So now it's going to. Uh, let's do four days. So. Uh, let's. I'm gonna just try and do it as a D. I sometimes you will get this error. Uh, so I'm gonna do a DI file instead. And we're gonna do box two. All right, so now what we're gonna do is try and do the whole create thing again. So create, we're gonna do it north. Make sure you know what direction it is. I'm just gonna pull the last PNG file. And then let's just do, look. So it says, uh, your parental requirements. There we go. So now it started loading the image. So now it's done. So now if I look behind me, I've got a Fox image. So it will base it off that direction. So as you can see, it kind of, it's a really cool system that it does. Um, let's see if I can get the second image working here really quick. Give me one second. All right guys, we're back. So it should work now. Uh, it was 
for some reason failing when I did it the first time. But now if I do your crate. Oh, I forgot to put the number. Uh, let's do 50. So we can do 50 bigger. And as you can see, this one got put out. So that's the great thing about these. It will pretty much use any block you want and then put it as an image. Um, as I said, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, statues, but I can't actually do them for some reason. I don't know why my game version just doesn't want to do it, but uh, it there should be an update eventually that should release something that's a better quality than this. So let's do PP. Uh, great skin this time then whatever direction you want so we'll do east and then you can do a player's name or what type you want to be so I'm gonna do Eskos as you can see it airs out for me I don't know why I gotta fix that but um what it will do is it will generate your skin into pretty much what is pictures so I'm gonna pop that on the screen here really quick so you can see it but besides that, I'm going to jump into the config. The config file is really short. So, so the config file is really short, but here we go. Um, as you can see at the top, you can do auto update, uh, whitelist materials, all that stuff. And then you pretty much have your list of materials. And that is pretty much the config file for you. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you keep find yourself coming back hit the subscribe button otherwise i will see you guys in the next video